Sarah, and I'm back in the book closet with more thrift and library sale books to show you, and then I have an unboxing at the end. <clears throat> Starting off with thrift stores, I went to our re used recycle re center the other day, and uh, their selection of books has really dwindled, but I did manage to pick up this <clears throat> from 1972. It's a nonfiction piece about music. There's some interviews in it. I haven't really gone through it yet, but I'm always interested in history, and this is definitely at this point history of then current ideas and thoughts. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe I'll read somebody bad mouthing something that went on to become really, really important. Probably will. Same place I picked up Crossroad Blues by Ace Atkins and White Shadow by Ace Atkins. And I picked them up because I know that he's been writing the Spencer novels as of late. And I have a few of his books somewhere. And I just figured for uh, for a couple cents I would pick those up so I could check them out. Check out uh, this, like, pick this up this morning. A it looks like it had barely been opened copy of Assignment Acura by Edward S. Ahrens. I've got some of the assignment books. I've not gotten to them yet. This was a complete blind grab. I bought this because this is a TV tie-in. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we'll see if this is any good. I mean, it's like 150 pages. So, hey, it might be of interest, but it looked kind of cool. Same place I picked up. Another copy of Raymond Chandler's Troubles My Business with the late 70s, early 80s kind of fish aquarium uh, animal covers. I think I've got this one already, but I always pick these up when I find them. There's a little nick on the cover there, but that's okay. <clears throat> and then some early pocket editions. Uh, Farewell My Lovely, which I have multiple copies of right back here. And one that I actually don't believe I have a copy of, pick up on Noon Street. So that was cool to find those. All right, <clears throat> so from there, I went to uh, a library sale in a small town. It's called uh, Clinton, Michigan, and it's kind of between Ann Arbor and Jackson, but south. So um, if anybody knows your Michigan geography. Anyway, um, <clears throat> they have long been a good source of, of books. And one that I like going to about three times a year. And they usually do it the first Saturday of each month. <clears throat> and it had been a couple months since I went there. And I ended up with quite a haul. A lot more than I expected. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. Let me show you the things that I picked up. That um, This was from their normal 50 cents a book part of the sale. Best of Lee Brackett. I've read a lot and heard a lot about Lee Brackett, but I've never read her stuff. So I saw this and grabbed it. Here is what is in this collection. Let's see if I can get it to focus without too much of a glare. Or a couple of things. So, and of course, that's a great Boris Vialo, co Vialo cover. I picked up a copy of The Bad Seed. I do have another copy that's older, but this is probably a decent reading copy. <clears throat> Some paperbacks from hell. I think that was probably a paperback from hell. John Russo's Living Things. Uh, Ramsey Campbell's Long Lost. Which has got the Tor Horror. And for that matter, this one just says Popular Library. Um, and then I picked up a more recent horror book. A paperback copy of Final Girls. I do have a hardcover, but this is basically going to be a reading copy when I get around to it. And Fourth Horseman, this sounds like in the tradition of Earth Abides or The Stand or Swan Song. And uh, I figured I'd check it out. It's a little bit rough. <clears throat> Notice how rough this, this spine is, and that's a little bit worn. And this Ramsey Campbell's not, not perfect either. It's got a little tear on the back. Oh, look, there's a Tower Records sticker. That's pretty great. Um, <clears throat> and I'm showing you those for a reason. So, I was looking around, and that's what I picked up. And I don't think I grabbed anything else I need to show you. Uh, there's one more thing. We'll get to it, though. Um, anyway, I stumbled on this cart that was... All of these ex-library 
Westerns from this particular library. And they were having a big blowout for 10 cents each or 12, 12 for a buck. So <clears throat> I got 24 of these Westerns, including two that I would have gladly paid $2 each for. But uh, as it was, I got them a lot cheaper than that. So um, Clinton Township Libraries, Cody's Law. I showed one of these before. I saw this and thought, yep, I'll grab that. So as you notice, these are these have contact paper on them and tape and uh, the barcode and everything. So I wanted to see how much of that I could get off. I probably should have picked a better one to try. But um, Gatling number five, definitely a reader's copy at this point because it pulled off part of the cover. Not a whole lot, but some you can see there. <clears throat> so I was able to get some off, but not a lot. Um, I might try to see what I can effectively do without destroying it. Let me put these where they go. Pardon me. By the way, I'm just putting them in these bins. I pick up these bins at the thrift stores where I find these books. They're usually about 50 cents each. The books fit in here nicely. I can just stack them. <clears throat> so anyway, that's where I'm putting these. So I got a couple of Ed Gorman books. I've got some other Gorman books. Um, these will go with those. Uh, a couple of <coughs> a couple of Bill Pronzini books. Some Luke Cameron. Some Luke Cameron Stringer. <clears throat> Number two through six of a series called The Hangman. Hangman. And I'm going to sneeze in a minute, so I might step out. Apologies for that. Also got about six of these Stagecoach Station books. Um, I want to say that James, Ries James Reasoner has written some of these. I need to go online and figure out who wrote what of these books. But, uh, yeah, I grabbed a bunch of those. So the one that Western I got that wasn't part of this sale was this one, which is Brian Garfield's Slip Hammer, which I have read is considered to be one of the first of the uh, very violent, very explicit adult Westerns, or the set, the blueprint. And I bought this cause, um, because it's a, definitely a reader's copy. And I have a nicer one that's more of a collectible that I did not want to open and read if I could read this. So, <clears throat> that's three coughs. That's pretty good. The two books I was happy to get, and I did pull off a good chunk of the, uh, the tape and whatnot from these without too much difficulty. <clears throat> these have been on my want list for a while, and I was happy to find them for under a dime each. Bill Kreider's Outrage at Blanco, and the sequel, Texas Vigilante. Uh, I had read about these in the 52 Westerns for 52 weeks, which I should probably show it sometime if I have it. <clears throat> but these are uh, supposed to be great kind of noir -y Westerns that I've been wanting to check out, so very happy to find these. Okay, how much time we got here? Oh, that's not too bad. So, I got some mail, and I already took off my address, but... The Paperbacks from Hell, uh, Series 2, second book, arrived in my mailbox today. And I already pre-opened a big chunk of this. But let's take a look here. Nice copy of Nightblood by T. Chris Martindale. Now, this is supposed to be Vietnam vet versus vampire in New York City in 1980s, I believe. So... This is a much sought after book, and I'm glad to have a copy of it now. So, <clears throat> that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, be back sooner rather than later with maybe something else, maybe uh, more of an update, maybe a look at the closet here a little more closely. Uh, in that spirit, let me just pull something out to show you guys. Um, you know what? Let's do these ones because they're right here. So, here's my uh, Roger L. Simons collection. Straight man. California roll. 
the big fix. Another copy of the big fix. Uh, 70s detective post counterculture fiction. There's a movie with Richard Dreyfus that just came out on some blue right now, but I got the DVD. It's pretty good. Highly recommend it for all you Big Lebowski fans and Long Goodbye fans, the Altman version. So there's those. <clears throat> Here's my L.A. Morse. There's Sleaze. And two copies of the Big Enchilada. So, uh, do I have anything else that I can just grab real quick to show? Maybe, um, <clears throat> maybe, let's give some love to, uh, Victor Gershler. Um, <clears throat> he, he of Gun Monkeys, Pistol Poets, <clears throat> <clears throat> Suicide Squeeze, and Shotgun Opera fame. These are all fun, kind of not really comedic, but definitely funny, um, great like crime, action, suspense. <clears throat> Mainly these days he's writing comics and he's writing fantasy, but I enjoy his crime novels. So if you see these, check them out. Uh, that's it for this time, and I'll catch everybody later.